but he's, but he's one person that develops the dynasty. Mashiach ben Yosef is actually in every single generation. There is a Mashiach ben Yosef in every generation. That's, that's the Ramchal and Kinas Hashem Tzfakos. Maybe we'll learn it inside next time. It's a very complicated Ramchal. But there's Mashiach ben Yosef in every single generation. They're generally, it sounds like they're the Askanim. Anyone knows that Askanim are? Askanim are the Jews that deal with all the physical issues and the governmental issues for the Jewish people. Those are the Mashiach ben Yosef of every generation. And they're always involved in improving the physical status of the Jewish people. By right? trying to help us get our rights and help us... Uh, our schools and whatever it is, they're always trying to help the physical status of the Jewish people. And if they connect to the spiritual side of the coin, which are the kolos and those that are learning Torah, so then it, de- it develops into beautiful things for the Jewish people. But that's Mashiach ben Yosef. He, he lives in this world. Now Mashiach ben Yosef, we're just going to get into next time, but he's, he's even more controversial than he sounds. Because the soul of Mashiach ben Yosef, the first time it came into the world in the Bechin of Mashiach, the first time it was in the world was in Yosef at Tzadik. Then it came into another great individual named Yeravam ben Navat. Has anyone heard of Yeravam ben Navat? So Yeravam ben Navat is a fascinating biblical character. I uh, recommend you can read up uh, on him on maybe Wikipedia. I don't know where they have it. But <laughs> Yeravam ben Navat was, a, was the first king of the ten tribes. Right? Sh- Shlomo Melech was king, and so was David Melech was king over all twelve tribes. The whole land of Israel was under one monarchy. At a certain point, by Shlomo Melech, Yeravam ben Navat broke off from the Davidic dynasty. And he was from the Shevet of Ephraim. He broke off. Ephraim are the Bnei Yosef, right? Yosef had two sons, Ephraim and Menashe. So Yerav ben Avot is from the tribes of Yosef. So he's, he's, Yosef, right? he's Mashiach ben Yosef. He became a king of the land of Israel. You had a king from David and a king from Yosef. You had Shlomo Melech and you had Yerav ben Avot. And Yerav ben Avot was the greatest Torah scholar of his generation. He was, he, was a, he was a gadol ador. He knew all of the secrets of Torah. The Gemara speaks very, very highly about him. He went so off the derech that he actually set up golden idols in Judah. Eh, sorry, in the ten tribes. In the ten tribes that he was the, the king over. He set up golden calves. Actually, golden calves. And he said that it's forbidden to make a pilgrimage to the base of Mikdash. And he put guards on the roads that they would kill anyone that tried to actually go to do Alil Arego. He became one of the most wicked kings in the Jewish story. Right? And he was the greatest soul that there was. So before he actually went off the derech, so the Ramchal says something very interesting. It says the soul of Mashiach ben Yosef that was in his body left his body. It left his body, even though he remained alive. It left his body and it went into the souls of the non-Jews. And went into the non-Jewish nations. And it got mixed up in the non-Jewish nations. This is what he says about Mashiach ben Yosef. And he says that when did it come back into the Jewish people? So another great Jew... Akiva, Rabbi Akiva. Akiva ben Yosef. Rabbi Akiva's name is Rabbi Akiva ben Yosef. Who was his father? His father was a convert. A convert. So that was the non-Jew. The non-Jewish soul was in Rabbi Akiva's father. And Rabbi Chal says it came back into the world as Rabbi Akiva. And Rabbi Akiva was the beginning of the process of rectifying Mashiach ben Yosef. So Mashiach ben Yosef was kind of tarnished by Rabbi ben Avat. It came back into the world of Rabbi Akiva. And from then on, it was supposed to become rectified. The way to rectify the soul of Mashiach ben Yosef is through dying al Pikirish Hashem at the hands of the non-Jews, which we'll get into next time when we discuss uh, the Holocaust a little bit. But that is how you rectify the soul of Mashiach ben Yosef. So all of the suffering of the Jewish people, all of the gullus that we go through, that's all part of Mashiach ben Yosef, not Mashiach ben David. That's all part of Mashiach ben Yosef. So next time, Bezrat Hashem, we'll discuss the history of the Jewish people for the past, I'd say, 500 years, which is the process of Mashiach. It began about, really, really, it started picking up steam about 300 years ago. 300 years ago, we'll go through the history, the sources that mention what the processes are, and exactly where we're holding right now. We'll try to pinpoint where we are right now in this process, and what our job is to actually get us to the finish line. So this is Mashiach ben Yosef. Yeah? You said there are three functions in gathering and developing the physical land. Yeah. Okay, the third one is to bring the panemius of Torah into the world, which is Kabbalah. The, the process of bringing Kabbalah into the world is the job of Mashiach ben Yosef, which was Rabbi Akiva. Rabbi Akiva was the source of all Kabbalah. His student was Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. So Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai wrote the Zohar. So that's all coming from Rabbi Akiva. And as you get closer to Mashiach, that Torah, the Torah of panemius, the deeper realms of Torah, become much more revealed in the world. 
which is the Vilna Gon, the Ramchal, the Baal Shem Tov, and Chassidus, and now Chabad. Chabad, that's our mission statement. Chabad's mission statement is spread the deeper aspects of Torah, which we call Pneumius Torah, Kabbalah, to the four corners of the world, and that's going to bring Mashiach. That's what Chabad that's believes. That's, that's their manifesto. That part's not controversial, but other parts are. But um, that's, that's what the Baal Shem Tov said that we should do to bring Mashiach, yeah. is to teach the deeper aspects of Torah. That's part of Mashiach ben Yosef, and that's perhaps why the Ramchal himself was the first one to bring this esoteric Torah into a very revealed um, and large audience. He brought it to the forefront. Before these Sfarim were not necessarily learned by everyone, the Ramchal brought it forward. The Ramchal actually says that he had an neshama from Mashiach ben Yosef. He had an neshama that was connected to Mashiach ben Yosef. The Vilna Gaon said the same thing. We'll see in the Sefer Kol Torah, which we'll so, do so next time. So it's not an actual person that you can put your finger on. It's a concept. It's a, it's a process. It's, 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 there's people it's that are connected person. to it. Yeah, but there's people that are, that, are, that are leading the charge because they have a, a piece of that neshama. They're, lead, they're leaders of, of this movement. But yes, it's much more of a movement than Mashiach ben David. Mashiach ben David is going to be... Mashiach ben Yosheh finishes it. An actual person. Yeah, a person comes and he becomes the king of the whole world. There's no, there's no other Mashiach ben Davids. Right, there's one Mashiach ben David. Mashiach ben Yosef, there, there's many. Yeah, but over a period of hundreds of years. And, uh, yeah, and, and it says, and we saw in the Gemara, it says he's gonna, he's gonna die. It says he's gonna die. We saw in the Gemara, it says, right, Mashiach ben Yosef is gonna die. So the question is, does he still need to die? We're gonna see that it's a machlokis, whether he has to die anymore. Maybe it was nullified, the decree was nullified, we'll see why. When was he, he was nullified? When, did huh? he, when, when was he born? When did he come into the world? He, he did, it can't be one person that's alive. It could be. There could, there, could be, there could be one person at the end that's, that's the final manifestation of Mashiach ben Yosef. That final, there will be a war at the end of days. We'll speak about Gogu Mogog and all these things that Mashiach ben Yosef is connected to. But that's going to be next year.